Why is it so hard to lose weight as you get older? A lot of people struggle later in life to lose those unwanted pounds when it was really easy for them to do so, you know, when they were younger in their 20s or 30s. And the reason why this is, is because body composition is changing. From the age of 30, most people are declining in lean muscle mass by about 2 to 8% over a 10 year period. So why is that important? Well, if you are losing lean muscle mass, effectively what you're doing is your metabolism, your basal metabolic rate, the amount of calories you burn doing absolutely nothing slows down. So you've got to imagine that if lean muscle mass is going down, then effectively the amount of calories you consume should be going down with it. Now, this is very slow. So in terms of how much calories, you're talking 10 calories per pound of lean muscle mass, right? So it's minimum. And in terms of how we can counteract this, well, it's very simple. So rather than being in a decline from the age of 30 of two to 8%, let's say, the number one thing you can do is get enough protein to be more at the 2% than at the 8%. Now, for somebody who's sedentary, somebody who's not working out, 0.4 grams to 0.6 grams per pound of body weight is the ideal range to sit in. So again, make sure you're serving your already existing lean muscle mass with protein so that it doesn't break down as fast. Second thing you can do if you want to start to go in the other direction is doing resistance training. What you've got to imagine is every time you pick up a weight that's causing stress on the body, your body is designed to adapt and deal with that stimulus in the future. So effectively, you're causing these little microfiber tears in the muscle when you do something strenuous, and that's where you feel sore the next day. Protein is the building material, so protein breaks down to these amino acids. That's the repair material that you need in order to start to build it back up. And sleep is the final piece. That's the setting phase, right? So if you want to increase your resting metabolism, by building lean muscle, you want to have a resistance training that's challenging your body. So you're constantly doing, you know, progressive overload throughout whatever training phase you're doing or constantly increasing your reps or increasing your weight or increasing a consistency of the two or reducing your time um, between rest periods. All of that is about progressing through your training phase. The second thing is adequate amount of protein. And the third thing is getting a good night's sleep. So if your resting metabolism has dropped, then effectively it's time to start revving it up again. And the way to rev up that engine is to incorporate those three simple things. Move the body, feed the body, and let the body rest and repair. Have an amazing day.